What are you doing here? I just got off the phone with the White House. I resigned from the brain mapping initiative. What? I'm not moving to D.C. Why would you do that? Well, I don't want to live anywhere else when my kids are growing up here. I don't want to be apart from them. Or you. It's, no job is worth that to me. I want to be with you and the kids here. No. What? This is not what we discussed. I mean, you should call them back and tell them you were kidding. I got to pee. I did not ask you to do this. I never wanted you. I know you didn't. I chose. I chose you and the kids. And as you stand there on your front porch, staring at the life you're about to leave behind. How are you feeling? Hey, uh, not great. Weird day. You don't have a fever. You're still sick? No, I, w I wasn't sick. I, I'm, li I'm a little drunk, though. You're drunk? Yes, I was at Alex's. Okay, Matt, you gotta help me. I, I am. I'm trying to understand. Okay, listen, this crazy so thing is happening. You have to stay here to make the most of your career. Just listen to me. Wait, so I gave up the brain mapping initiative so you can play hooky and get drunk with I your friends. So I'm staying in Seattle. Because we know exactly how deep some injuries can go. I swear to God, I can't do this. I'm sorry about the thing I said about your mother. Why? You meant it. It was in the heat of the moment. I, I, I just... You know, you wanted to hurt me and you did that, so at least have the guts to stand by it. Will you just... You have to go home. Would you like to hold her? No, absolutely not. No. Don't be afraid. He's five years old. What... What was the alternative? Don't look at me like that. I could use a shower, too. The ABCs of Trump. I remember the damn coach. Why don't you trust me? Of course. For God's sake, Meredith, of course I trust you. Why did you call Richard today for a second opinion? If that had been any other surgeon, Dr. Bailey, would you have done it? It was a surgical consult. It doesn't matter whether it's a surgical consult or a coat. You don't trust me, and all you want to do is fight I me. don't want to fight with you, but I'm not going to compromise myself, Mary, just because no, you you've think already I... done that. You've already compromised yourself and diminished yourself for me. I feel that. Your pissiness and your resentment, Derek. You know why? Do you know why I resent you? Because you've never had my back on this. Not since the day I told you I would stay. I told you that you and the kids were more important. You have been determined to prove me wrong, that this is the wrong choice. I have proven it, because you can't be happy here. You diminish everyone around you. I did you. this for you. I gave up everything for you. There it is, everything. You gave up everything. That was everything to you? Where are you going? Nobody's memory is... Eric, slow down. No, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore, this constant battling. I'm not battling, but I just yes. am not going to let you yes, just... Yes, you think I'm some sort of tyrant determined to keep you down. You keep you down, and now I'm paying for it. And I don't know how to fix it. You should have just gone to D.C. Is that what you want? Because that door is wide open. That's what you want. Meredith, they offered me the job again. Today, I could take this job right now. We are in one place. Derek. Derek. Right, Meredith. Then another. You should. Take it. Deborah, it's Dr. Shepard. Glad I could catch you. It was great that you came by today. Please tell the president I would be thrilled to accept the post. Yes, absolutely. We can talk more then. I look forward to it. I will see you soon. Good. Go. Oh, I'm going. No, I mean it. Go now. And it all feels like one long, inescapable moment. Go. So what does it mean? Richard! What do we take away? Which pieces will haunt us? I was... jealous. So I ruined it hurt us. Richard! End us. I took the first flight, left my keys. Uh-huh. Things that are bad. Things that could really hurt us. You called me, and a woman answered my phone. I called you, and a woman answered your phone. Things that it might just be too late 
left once. Seems like you came home because you thought you were in trouble. Do you try to fit it back in? I came home because we're in trouble. I came home to work on this, on us. I came home. Do you try to make it work? Remember. I am calling Post-it. Zola and Bailey. And tumors on the walls and ferry boat scrub caps. I thought DC was everything. And I was wrong. You. You. You're everything. I love you. And I'm not gonna stop loving you. Meredith, I can't live without you. I don't want to live without you. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to prove it. I can't live without you. But I don't want to. I don't ever want to. Just because we can live without something, it doesn't mean we have to. go again? I guess not. Bailey's up. What if I change my flight? I could come by the hospital before I get to the airport and we could find an empty on-call room. Huh. I have work to do at work. I can't do you too. Okay, well then it's settled. Let's go again now. Come on. No, absolutely not. You are terrible, terrible influence. We are getting up now. I know. Why don't you make yourself useful and go change Bailey's diaper? <sighs> You're a tease. And you are terrible. <laughs> Best wife ever. Mm -hmm. I just wish, I don't know, you could stay or I could come with you or something. I'll be back soon, you know that. I know. I know, I just feel like I just got you back and now you're going again and I, I just have to stay here. You're right, you do. You have to stay here. Don't move. Wait for me. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. You're awake? I am now. Don't pretend staring at me like that isn't creepy because it is. Was it sexy creepy or just... How long have you been awake? It's, it's still dark out. A little while, not too long. Your snoring woke me up. I don't snore anymore. You know, in D.C., I could hear the metro station from my apartment. The trains would wake me up every morning. This is a much better way to wake up. Yeah. Your snoring is like a train. <laughs> it's much cuter. I don't snore. Yes, you do. It's like music. It's like a bird song. A loud, gargling bird. <laughs> <laughs> On a train. For a while, I would FaceTime Christina. I would prop her up right there where your head is now. <laughs> Half the time she was in surgery, so I would just watch her operate until I drifted off. I brought the kids in the bed for a while so we could all sleep together. I printed a tumor and I slept with that there for a bit. <laughs> it's just weird. I, that pillow's been empty for such a long time. Not now, not anymore. I know. I just wish you didn't have to go back to D.C. at all. I wish you could just stay right here, right now. It's my last trip, and then I'm back for good. I promise. I know. I've missed you. I've missed us. I have, too. Hey, let's pack off. Zola wants a car. Did she tell you? A car? Yeah. I asked her, I'm gonna bring something back from DC. What would you like? And she goes, 
I would like to have a car. <laughs> wow, okay. I thought we were at least 10 years away from that. Oh, it's going to be here before you know it. You know, remember ages ago, you and I had a really big fight. And I told you, I said, you're like coming up for fresh air. Like I was drowning and you saved me. I still feel that way. When I see you, when we have our family. That's the feeling, it's you. It's always been you. And I want more of this, of us, of... Let's have more. <laughs> I mean it. You're crazy. That's not a no. Another baby? Sure. Uh, uh, seriously? I'm completely serious. Like right now? Right. You want to? Oh, no. You are serious. <laughs> I'll be home before you know it. It's good. It's time. I know. I just feel like I just got you back, and now you're going again, and I, I just have to stay here. You're right. You do. You have to... Stay here. Stay here. Don't move. Don't move. Wait for me. Wait for me. I don't remember how I found her. Richard. I don't remember how I got home. Okay. All I remember is what happened next. She told me not to worry. She told me everything would be fine. I'll be back before you know it. Funny, isn't it? The way memory works. The things you can't quite remember and the things you can never forget. The carousel never stops turning. scared. I'm not going anywhere. Come, on, come, on, come here. Put your hands <clears throat> into the fire. I'm right here. Come on, come on. Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, is this the home of Derek Shepard? It is. He's my husband. I'm afraid there's been an accident. Could you come with us, please? I'm going to begin now. You can sit next to him. So what's your story?
Are you ready? 